Hello everyone. I would like to invite you today to practice some Norwegian with me. I've only started learning Norwegian a couple months ago, mostly with a language app. But I recently got this book from the library. It's in German, so German to Norwegian. Norwegisch. Systematisch, schnell und gut. It's for beginners. Anfänger. Like I said, I've mostly been using apps such as Duolingo, which are great for practicing some vocabulary, but I feel like I really need to work on grammatic on my grammar. So today I'd like to invite you to look at nouns with me and adjectives. Basically this is the part that I will be studying. I'll go through it with you and then we're going to do some exercises and I'll be writing it down on a separate sheet because obviously this is not my book. All right, so when we have a noun such as bil, which is the car, we can add the article in bil, a car, and to form the plural we would add er to the end, biler, cars. It's the same with in bus, a, uh, a bus, and the plural would be busser. We also have a different type of article. Well, it's the same kind, but it looks a little different. Instead of in, it's it, it, hotel. But the plural looks the same, hoteller. Sometimes when we have very short words, so just one syllable, we would not end at a plural ending. For example, it board is a table and the plural is just board. So this is something to keep in mind. Short it words that are just one syllable don't get a plural ending. So here's a little overview. Together with adjectives. If we're having the indefinite singular, we would say in bil a car. In stor bil a big car. Or it kart a map, it stort kart, a big map. So the in word doesn't get an ending on the adjective, but the it word gets a T. Easy to remember, I think. T, T. Now, let's look at the definite singular. Bilen, the car. So, the in that we had in front of the word before. Now moves to the end of the word. Bilen, the car. Den större bilen, the big car. We're adding an e to the adjective. Kartet, the map. Det större kartet. So, here we also add an E. Easy to remember if it's definite singular, we always add an E to the adjective. And then we have the indefinite plural. Mangebiler. 
many cars, mange større biler, many big cars. Again, we add an E. Mange kart, many maps, mange større kart, many big maps. So, again, we just add an E. And, like we just said, kart doesn't change its form. Now, we can also um, build this form without den or dit. We just need it when there's an adjective in front of the noun. We can say, Bente drink wine. Bente drinks wine. Or Bente drinks the wine. But, Bente drink den gode wine. Bente is drinking the good wine. So then we need this little word here. Den. Now, as with English, some words are a little different. They're irregular, such as liten, which means small. Here we would say, en liten bil, a small car. Din lille bilen, the small car. Mange small biler, many small cars. So this form looks completely different. But I think if you're a native English speaker or you've learned English, this looks pretty familiar. Little and small. And for the it words, we would say it leads a glass, a small glass. The it's lille glasset, the small glass, and Mange small glass. Many small glasses. Again, this is a short word with just one syllable, so no plural ending. So we have liten lille small. Liten lille small. Only these two forms differ from each other. The other two forms are the same. All right, now I think we'll start with the first exercise. Works just like this. We built all of these forms that we just discussed. En bil, bilen, mange biler. We have en kopp, which means a cup. And we would say Kopen and Mange Kopper. It's an inward, not it, so we have the plural. Then we have it glass. Glass set, we add D article to the end and mung class we just had that here in ferge that's the ferry so the definite form should be fergen and Mange ferger. It bort. That's this right here. The table. Bort it. And... I'm sure you remember this. It's an T word. So we don't add anything. Mange board, many tables. We had that here. 
then we have intima. I think this means a time, such as once or twice, but oh, I'm wrong. It means hour. So almost. Timer means hours. So in Timer. Timen, the hour, and longer Timer, many hours. And the last one, and Mittag. I think this is dinner in Norwegian, which is funny because it looks like midday. So Mittagen and Mange Mittager. Let's see if we can find any solutions in the end. This is very funny here. I noticed the other day. It's a book on Norwegian, but here in the end you can also try out Swedish which is interesting because it's quite similar. So, we could do that too sometime. Right, here we have some vocabulary. Here we have some grammar. Oh, and here are Lösungen, solutions. So we have in cup, kuppen, kupper. Correct. It's glass, glasset, glass. En ferge, fergen, ferger. It bord, bordet, bord. So I don't know if I needed the manga. Apparently not. Intime, Timen, Timer. In Mittag, Mittagen, and Mittager. All right. That was a good start. Let's try the second one. This one works with adjectives. So, let's see if I remember everything. First one, in thirst student, a thirsty student. So, that should become den thirste. Studenten. And the plural would be many thirsty students, manga, thirste, studenter. Second part, in Sultan Dame. Not sure what Sultan means. Have a look. Doesn't say here. Not seeing it here either. Here. Oh, hungry. So, thirsty is thirst, and hungry is sultan. That's me usually. A hungry one. So we have den sultene damen and mange sultene 
Damer. Et Norsk Pass. A Norwegian Passport. Det. Norsk. I think this is just. Oh, let me check. Ah, det är norsk passet. And then the plural is mange norsk pass. Was a bit too quick there. I think it should just be pass in the plural form. We'll check later. Right, then we have it. Tusk Certificat A German Certificate Det Tuske Certificatet Certificatet And Mange Tuske Cer this is quite a long word, so we add the plural ending. Then we have. Oh, these are going to be difficult. En liten bil, a small car. We have den lille bilen. And, like we said, irregular plural, mange small biler. And the last one, et lite glas, det lille glaset mange små glas Let's check if this is correct Exercise number two. In Törst student, den Törste studenten, Törste studenter. In Sutten dame, ah, this works differently. Den Sutne damen. Let's get shortened. And the same thing in plural. Sultne da men. Oh, da mer. I was wrong. Sultne da mer. Then we have it norsk pass. Det norsk passet. Norsk pass. Et tysk certificat. Det engelske certificatet. I don't think we want an English certificate. We still want the German one. And tyske certificater. En liten bil. Den lille bilen. Ah, looks like a bee. Den lille bilen. Små biler. Et lite glas. Det lille glaset. And små glas. Alright. That wasn't too bad. So, one thing that 
I need to remember is that Sultan becomes Sultne, hungry. It's an important word. So, I think this is enough for now. And I'd be happy if you join me next time again. Maybe we'll practice some verbs or whatever the next chapter has for us in terms of grammar. I hope you enjoyed this and you're having a good evening. <laughs>